to today's tutorial and today we want to look at the hip joint you know the hip joint is also known as, as a tabulo femoral joint the stable femoral joint now this joint is actually a ball and socket joint and therefore of course a synovial joint if it is a synovial joint it is going to have a joint capsule and this joint capsule you know internally will be lined by what you call synovial membrane and this synovial membrane is actually going to secrete synovial fluid for lubrication at this joint for lubrication at this joint yes of course we know that this joint is actually you know what happens is that the acetabulum cavity is actually deeper than what we find in the case of the glenoid cavity of the, of the scapula what happens is that this one is deeper but it's further deepened by a fibrocartilaginous ring known as the acetabular label acetabular label now what happens is that yes although yes it's deeper its stability is somewhat you know compromised because you know it's quite flexible you know permitting extension you know flexion abduction adduction internal rotation external rotation after all it's a multi axial synovial joint permitting all these movements now therefore its stability is very important you know by way of ligament stabilizing it we have two groups of ligaments which we will get to know intracapsular ligament and then extracapsular ligament those are found outside the capsule of the joint now by way of orientation this is the hip bone the pelvic girdle and we know that this pelvic girdle is going to have a superior portion of the bone known as ilium it's going to have two inferior bones one which orients anteriorly where is the anterior inferior one known as the pubis, and then the posterior inferior one known as the ischium we know the ischium is going to have this tuberosity ischial tuberosity it also have this ischial spine now this ischial spine just serves as a landmark so that we can have these two notches a superior greater sciatic notch and an inferior lesser sciatic notch now what happens is that yes we said that this is actually the femur the female is going to have this greater trochanter it's also going to have this lesser trochanter you know over here will be the trochanter fossa which we will get to pretty soon now also you find that there is this foramen which is known as obturator foramen which we say in the living will be occupied by this membrane known as obturator membrane obturator membrane almost entirely leaving a small superior opening known as obturator canal now for the ligaments which are going to provide stability although yeah, the intracapsular ligament are providing less stability they include the following one is now we, we learned that the head of the femur is having a pit on a superior aspect and that head, that pit is known as fovea capitis now running in the fovea capitis is actually the ligament of the head of the humerus now this ligament is actually rounded and therefore can also be called ligamentum teres femoris you know you can also call it that way now it runs all the way and then inserts you know finds another attachment in the acetabulum in the acetabulum so that's what we find that's one of the intracapsular ligament now the other intracapsular ligament which is not shown here you know is actually the transverse you know ligament of the acetabulum transverse ligament of the acetabulum you know these are the two i mean um, intracapsular ligaments now for the extracapsular ligament in fact there are four and which notably you want to look at them those are the four orientators the anterior aspect now this ligament which runs all the way below the anterior inferior iliac spine and comes all the way and it inserts into the intertrochanteric line intertrochanteric line now as it comes and inserts it actually you know divides into two bifurcates if you can see this and giving a y-shaped you know ligament known as you know this ligament because it's spanning from the ilium to the femur we call it iliofemoral ligament iliofemoral ligament it's actually the strongest of this these ligaments actually the strongest in the body actually mm -hmm. now for if we look at just at this lower level this triangular shaped you know ligament which actually spans from the uh, you know iliopubic eminence as well as the superior pubic ramus and also blends with the you know iliopi iliofemoral ligaments and also inserts into the intertrochanteric line it's actually known as the pubofemoral ligament pubofemoral ligament now 
by way of you know function, what happens is that the iliofemoral ligament actually prevents hyperextension, excessive extension at the hip joint, at the hip joint. So that you know will prevent what we call dislocation at the joint. Now, this pubofemoral ligament actually you know prevents you know excessive you know abduction, excessive abduction, taking it away, excessive abduction at the hip joint. Now, if you look at this posterior aspect, you get to know that there is another ligament, this time around spanning from in fact, the superior aspect of the body of the ischium and then inserting into the trochanteric fossa as well as the greater, you know, trochanter is known as the ischial femoral ligament, ischial femoral ligament, ischial femoral ligament. This ligament actually prevents, you know, excessive media rotation or internal rotation as well as adduction, you know, at the hip joint. The hip joint. Now, if you take a cut section of this ligament, what happens is that you find a ligament which runs around the neck of the femur, around the neck, and this ligament known as the capsular ligament. Capsular ligament. Actually, this capsular ligament, because of you know how it encircles the neck of the femur, what happens is that we also give it the name the zona obicularis ligament. Zona obicular. You know, obicularis has to do with round and these you know represents the ligaments of you know the hip which are going to help in stability because at the end of the day you know it's also best some weight and therefore instability is very important thank you very much for your audience